Welcome to Flip Lesson 65 for the sixth grade. Today we're going to look at two concepts. First of all, understanding the difference between prime numbers and composite numbers, and then how to take a composite number and break it down into its prime factors, also known as prime factorization. So, prime numbers is an idea that we looked at before. Prime numbers are numbers that can only be multiplied by one. That's the only factor when it comes to those numbers. And these are just a few examples. So composite numbers are going to be the opposite. They're going to be numbers that have many multiples, sorry, many factors that allow you to create these, right? So, for example, it's 4 times 1, and then 2 times 2, all equal 4. Just like 2 times 4 and 8 times 1 equals 8, and 3 times 3 and 1 times 9, all equal 9. So here's an example right there, four factors, 1, 1, 2, 3, well, 3 for that one, 1, 2, 3, 4 for that one, 1, 2, 3 for that one. We have an example of composite numbers, right? Composite numbers, lots of factors, prime numbers, two factors. So, how are we going to use this? To understand this, we want to be able to take a composite number, such as 16, and we want to break it down so that the only thing we have is prime numbers left. So we're going to divide by prime numbers until we can't divide any more. So, let's do that. The first way we're going to do that, we're going to do what's called division by primes, a method that I've come to call the tower method. Tower method. So, as I look at the number 16, I notice the number 16 is an even number, so I'm going to divide by a prime number of 2, easiest one to start with. 2 goes into 16 8 times. Alright? Now, I'm going to divide again. Right? See how the tower is being built? And once again, I'm going to take a 2 out. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. And I'm going to build my tower up some more. And once again, I'm going to divide by 2. 2 divided by 2 equals 2. And now suddenly, I'm left with only prime numbers. A 2, a 2, a 2, and a 2. So I can write that out going from my smallest prime. to the largest prime. In this case, they're all two, so they're just going to go in order like that. And so this would be my final answer. So that's method number one. Method number one is known as a factor tree. Right? Though I've come to call it the hockey stick method or the hockey puck method, depending on the number that it is. More often than not, it's a hockey stick. In this case, we also want to start with once again, our smallest prime, 48. I'll throw the number 2 here. 48 divided by 2 equals, I heard that, 24, right? 24 times 2. 24, now we're going to break that one down. See how the these arrows here are now pointing to the 24. Now I'm going to break down 24. 24 divided by 2 can give me 12. All right, now I'm going to break down 12. 12 divided by, still an even number, so I'm going to go by 2, is going to give me... Six. And getting further down into my factor tree. See, okay, now I have six, still an even number, so I'm still going to divide by two, and that's going to leave me with a two and a three. And since three is a prime number, here I am at the end. And why do I call it the hockey stick method? Because in the end, oh, there it is. There's the hockey stick ready to give you your answer. And if you go from smallest prime to largest prime, like I did here, our answer is ready to write now, too. It's going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And so my final answer would be this, just like that. All right, that's our look at prime numbers and composite numbers, and our first look at prime factorization. Here's some sample problems to get you on your way. That is lesson three.